Hello. So hello uh, everyone and welcome to the Scientix webinar, Mathematical Model and Real Life Examples in STEM Education and IBDP. My name is Marina and I will be moderating this session. With us today, we have the speaker of the session, Mehmet Basaran. He is the Scientix Ambassador for Turkey. He has been working as an IB mathematics teacher in the Sanko Private Science and Technology High School, and he is currently developing his PhD on the field of education in Gaziantep University. He has also been working on mathematical modeling of real life examples for teaching mathematics, and has also been, been involved in many national and international projects such as Erasmus Plus or Ingenious, among others. Mehmet will be presenting this evening's topics over the following 45 minutes, and for the 15 remaining minutes uh, after his, his presentation, he will be welcoming your questions about the topic. So please don't hesitate to use the chat to ask any of your questions and also to share your experiences regarding the topic. Also here with us is my colleague Enrique. He is using the Scientix account and he will be helping you with any technical problems you might have. So please write to him privately in the chat if you are experiencing any difficulties um, attending the session. I would also like to remind you to please turn off your cameras and microphones during the talk and address your questions in, into the dedicated chat. So that's everything from my side. I will now give the floor to Mehmet uh, to begin the session. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marina. Hello, everyone. Uh, I am Mehmet Basharan. Uh, today we will be together and I will, be, I will present you uh, scientific uh, and STEM education and uh, real world examples uh, how can we implement some mathematical topics in our mathematics lessons? And I will also give some details about IBDP program, and you will, you will uh, learn about how we implement in IBDP program in our lessons. Uh, I will first start with the definition of mathematics, then I will some give information about the daily life in mathematics, also, then I will give some information about IBDP. The last, the last thing is, uh, I will give some real-world examples from lessons. Let's start with uh, mathematics. What is the definition of mathematics? Mathematics uh, is from Brit Britannica Concise Encyclopedia. is science of structure, order, and relation that has evolved from counting, measuring, and describing the shapes of objects. It deals with logical reasoning and qualitative cal calculations. As probably see here, the mathematics is mainly about the logical reasoning and quantitative calculations. And uh, to, together with, uh, also literal meaning of mathematics is things which can be counted. Now you can think that counting has vital role in our daily life. Just imagine that there were no mathematics at all. How would it be possible for us to count days, months, and years. As probably see here, uh, m maybe all of you know about what's mathematics. Uh, let's, uh, let's start with how we use mathematics in daily life. On a basic level, you need to be able to count, multiply, subtract, or divide. Mathematics is around us. It is present in different forms whenever we pick the phone, manage the money, travel to some place, etc meet new friends unintentionally in all these things, mathematics is involved. Uh, as you see, I will also give some other examples from mathematics in daily life. For the first step, uh, we concert that the advantage of mathematics in real world connections. The first thing is, uh, it's, if we develop some uh, investigations in mathematics to teach our lessons uh, in my classes, uh, increases the motivation and interest in mathematics. Uh, for example, students uh, can interest uh, more than you do the, uh, without real, uh, real world problems. The second thing is uh, real world connection in mathematics helps students to improve conceptual, meaningful, and permanent learning. As you probably see here, the permanent uh, learning is the most important part of all mathematics topics. Uh, probably all of the mathematics teachers uh, deal with such problems. And also uh, making connections with real life uh, mathematics helps the development of students' mathematical progress skills, for example, reasoning, communication, problem solving, and analytical thinking. Uh, later we will see uh, IBDP program 
has uh, parallel lines with real world connections uh, in mathematics lessons. Uh, and if we continue with the advantages of real world uh, connections, the fourth thing is uh, help students develop consciousness about their future career choices by showing occupational fields in which mathematics is used. Uh, and the other thing is uh, real world connection has students develop a positive attitude towards mathematics. Probably, uh, as you know, uh, students uh, have anxiety to learn mathematics because if we don't have any connection between real life and mathematics, how can they be un understand the mathematics? You know, uh, there are many research uh, areas about it, and I will also give some uh, other uh, important topics uh, to connection with real life uh, and mathematics. The last thing is uh, real world connection facilitates generalization and abstraction of mathematical ideas and concepts. Uh, I give some uh, important topics here because all these six things uh, comes from the uh, research areas. You know, uh, there are many research uh, about real world connection and mathematics, uh, and uh, you know, I put together them here, uh, and I just wanted to give some important parts of them. Uh, but uh, I, I really want to say here, if we uh, just uh, say the advances of mathematics, uh, and also I must say the disadvantages of, what are the disadvantages, uh, the real world connection and mathematics? The first thing uh, I would like to say, there is no significant uh, disadvantage. But there are uh, some disadvantages, for example, uh, if given examples uh, are complex, to learn mathematics of problems can be difficult. You know, if we give uh, difficult real-world examples, then the mathematics is become two times complex for students. Uh, then also the other disadvantage is uh, the heavy content of curriculum and lack of time may make it difficult to use connections. Uh, there are some disadvantages, as you see here, uh, and also you can get, guess them from your mathematics lessons. Uh, there are many disadvantages to use real-world connection and mathematics. But uh, the research studies uh, say that uh, please use uh, real-world connection and mathematics. I would like to continue uh, with uh, real-world problems uh, are likely to have multiple solutions and while finding strategies to solve these problems, students can have a chance to improve their problem-solving and analytical thinking skills. As probably see here, uh, if we connect the mathematics topics uh, with real world, then students will try to think analytically. Uh, probably all of mathematics teachers want students to think analytically and have uh, some skills, uh, for example, critical, analytical, and problem solver skills. Uh, that's why the reason if we use uh, some real world connection in our lessons, then students will have chance to think analytically. If we continue uh, with uh, the use of connections, provides an environment where students develop multiple mathematical approach to the problems. Uh, in this world, uh, I would like to emphasize, uh, if we use uh, real world connections, uh, then uh, we think about the differentiated learning. As you probably see, students have some different uh, areas and they, they learn different uh, types of problems. If we use real world connections, uh, then we, have, uh, we give them chance to solve the problems in a different way. Uh, that's why the reason uh, the mathematics uh, real world connection gives us uh, this chance, uh, and uh, also students will have bigger chance to solve the problems in a different way. Uh, let's continue. What is the IBDP program? Probably many of you heard about it. Uh, but uh, here I will give some uh, information uh, about it. Uh, I make page about in uh, IBDP program, and also I will give one example from the England uh, St. Edmund School, how we use uh, mathematics connections in our mathematics lessons. Uh, first, start with the IBDP meaning. IBDP has two pro uh, four programs. Uh, what are they? primary use programs, middle use programs, diploma program, and career-related program. Career-related program is the newest one, uh, but I would like to here mention about diploma program. Diploma program because gives students chance to go into university without any examination, because IBDP program has 
its own uh, examination, and students have more chance to study on IBDP program. Also, IB uh, programs have more chance to students to study other uh, programs. For example, IGCSE. IGCSE means International Graduate Certificate of Education or GCSE, Graduate Certificate of Education. If students want to study on four of them, then students have more options in IBDP. Uh, my uh, main interest in IBDP program because uh, I would like to uh, study on uh, diploma program uh, to give chance uh, to students to enter the, the university. Uh, and continue, uh, IBDP, uh, well, uh, it established in uh, 1968, the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program was the first program offered by IB, and it is taught to students aged 16 to 19. As of 20 May uh, 2015, there are 2,795 schools offering the DP in 143 different countries worldwide. As probably see here, you, uh, if you search on the internet, uh, all, many prestigious universities accept IBDP program. Uh, uh, why uh, I am mentioning here IBDP? Because uh, in IB classes, we use real-world mathematics connections. IB calls these real-world mathematics connections is investigations in mathematics. You will see here uh, the IB learner profile. Uh, IB learner profile is mainly about uh, how we use the real-world connections because IB uh, wants students to be an inquirer, knowledgeable, thinker, communicator, principled, uh, etc. Uh, you see here, uh, all these things uh, is mainly about students uh, uh, must be studied to on a holistic approach. As you probably know the holistic approach, uh, it's mainly about the students must think uh, how can we connect the real world and the uh, topics from they learned from their theory of knowledge. And if you continue uh, the assessment in IB, there are two types of assessments in IB. Uh, what are they? Uh, external and internal assessment. Two assessment. They are essays, structure, problems, short response questions, data response questions, case study questions. Internal assessment, oral work languages, investigations in mathematics. As you see here, in stu uh, students must study investigations in mathematics. They use uh, real world connections here. Uh, they also have more chance to use mathematics in investigations in mathematics. Also, they must have artistic pro performance. With the mathematics courses in IBDP, uh, what are they? The, they are mathematical study, uh, study standard level, uh, SL, mathematical higher level, and the further mathematics higher level. Uh, all these courses uh, in IBDP mathematics courses. The aims of these courses are enable to students develop mathematical knowledge, concepts, and principles, and also develop logical, critical, and creative thinking, and also employ and refine their powers of abstraction and generalization. As probably see here, students must think uh, logically, critically, and creatively because they have uh, an exam, IBDP exam, and also oral exam uh, in their classes. University. Uh, that's why the reason students uh, should know how they can connect the real world and mathematics. You know, there, this is the big problem. In now, I will give you some. Uh, Examples from the Senatman School that I attend here uh, as a student teacher. I will give one uh, example how they implement their lessons, uh, mathematics and real world connection. Here is the school. Uh, it's a very big area and uh, very sophisticated. Uh, one of the lessons from this school, the mathematics lessons, they use uh, real world uh, problems and also real world connections. Uh, first start with uh, first start with real problem, and uh, the teacher give them chance think about how can we solve these problems with using real world. Uh, for example, they should make a macaroni, and they use kilograms and other things, and how they can put together them uh, in one place, and how they must solve the problems in a suitable way. I will give you some uh, examples here uh, from the pictures. Uh, 
uh, this is the, their lesson, mathematics lesson, uh, that was interesting for me because in our country we don't use such areas to teach mathematics from the real life. They have more options here. Yeah. This is the, uh, the, the this school was a private school. That's why the reasons uh, students uh, had chance uh, to cook the meals uh, in a lab, uh, uh, as you see here. For example, this is the picture from the cooking. Uh, they first uh, measure them and they must use the kilograms. And first then they, they must count, they must calculate, you know, the, probably you see here the real world connection and the mathematics. The, at the end of the lesson, uh, they put uh, on the board uh, their writings and what they learned from this lesson. And here uh, I, will, I want to give you one example from my IBDP class, how I use uh, in my IB class uh, mathematics. Uh, first, I start with the real uh, word mathematics. Uh, I, uh, I ask my students, where uh, do we use parabolas in real life? I come up with this question uh, and I wait the uh, students uh, the, to think about it, uh, where can we use the parabolas? Uh, after discussion, uh, five or 50 minutes, uh, I give some real world examples from parabolas. For example, uh, we use uh, parabolas in McDonald's, for example, in the nature. Uh, probably they saw these things, but they have never thought uh, this is a parabola or how can we write the equation of this parabola. Uh, I come up with these uh, five things to think them critically and analytically. Uh, and also I give some uh, real world examples uh, because giving more examples, uh, I visualize them, the abstract thinking and go beyond it, you know, uh, probably you have deal with uh, to write the equations of a parabola because uh, it's too difficult for students uh, thinking first abstractly. If, if we give chance then uh, first real world examples, then they will think, yes, we use the parabolas in real, in real life. And how can we write this equation? Uh, and then I give more examples. Uh, I every time try to prepare before my lessons. Uh, I know this, this takes time, but actually, uh, I must do this uh, because I want to teach my lessons uh, in investigations in mathematics. I also give real bridges uh, and they use the parabolas and the equations. Uh, for example, here and here, giving more examples, you know. After giving these examples, uh, and I ask my students, how can we write these equations? And uh, uh, yeah, you, you solve these problems and you see these uh, real world examples. And how can we use uh, to write the equation of this parabola? Uh, students in IBDP had more chance to write it because they have many options. For example, PI calculators. Uh, TI calculator gives students more chance uh, to write an equation, what uh, they have. Um, for example, they can write uh, uh, an uh, equation of the parabola or other things. Uh, they know how uh, to write in an equation in this TI calculator. Also, they can also use the GeoGebra program. Many times I use the GeoGebra program because it gives me more chance to make real world connection and to write uh, the equations in a different way. Because uh, in GeoGebra program, uh, there are sliders uh, that gives me chance to move the equations uh, left, right, or up and forward. Uh, that's why the reason sometimes I use GeoGebra program. So students also know how to use the GeoGebra program too. You know, uh, uh, giving uh, some examples in, in our mathematics lessons, students uh, will come up with you uh, then uh, how can we use the limits or differentiation or integral? How can we use in real world and how can we, uh, how can we write the equation of such things with using the uh, technology? Uh, uh, that's, why, that's why the reason uh, in our IB classes, uh, we sometimes use such things, but uh, or, uh, in our MAB classes, we don't use uh, such things because, uh, you know, our students must study such week in for their university exam. Uh, they must solve many different questions. They must use uh, def different uh, solving styles. Uh, in our in my country, using mathematics is a re really big problem because uh, 
they must solve many, many different question types, and they must solve them in one minute uh, for just one mathematics question. Uh, but in IB classes, uh, I have more chance. Uh, in all, uh, in all country, uh, this is the new thing, you, you know, the using mathematics uh, and real world connection. Probably you use your real world connection in your lessons, but uh, in my country, uh, this is so difficult. But actually, I had a chance to see different countries. For example, uh, Belgium, uh, England, and France. Uh, such countries use uh, re uh, real world problems and mathematics because uh, they really want to think the students critically, analytically, you know, this is the 21st century skills. Yeah, if the students want to move higher and if, if we want students to go beyond, we must use in our mathematics lessons such mathematical topics. I know uh, uh, finding some mathematics topics from the real life is rather difficult. Uh, but uh, I, I should advise you, uh, please try to uh, find uh, different mathematics topics in, uh, for your teaching lessons. Uh, this is my uh, presentation. Uh, if you would like to ask some questions, uh, please uh, ask me. Thank you, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi, thank you, Mehmet, for this presentation. Thank we you. do have some time for questions. I don't know if anyone wants to share something in the chat. Feel free to share it now. Um, but uh, I can't see anything in the chat. Would you like to expand on any of the targets that uh, you have mentioned, maybe? Okay, uh, I, I can, uh, if I have a chance, uh, I would like to give some uh, websites about real world connections uh, oh, to find uh, the teachers uh, I would like to give them yeah here are the uh, some useful uh, websites for using mathematics and real life examples the Pumas practical use of math and science here uh, you can use uh, different kinds of mathematical topics and real world connections you can click one of them and you can find uh, uh, real world connection. Uh, for example, how big is the earth? Just click here and you can see the examples and you can download it, you can rearrange it and you can use in your lessons. Uh, one of, uh, I use sometimes in my lessons. And other thing is the math in real life you can use in your lessons here, you know, this is a great example of mathematical websites uh, using real world examples. And other things, math motivation, I also use here in math classes, you can use some different kinds of mathematical topics and real world connection, and also you can use some math videos here. Mehmet, sorry for interrupting, but yeah. we're seeing the video very slow. So when you're talking, we still don't see the pages. Okay, I am waiting. Yeah, thanks. Do you see? Do you hear now? We, we can see it now. Okay. Here yeah, another good example of website using mathematics in real life. You can use these mathematical topics here. You can choose one of them and you can arrange also. Uh, but mostly I use the Pumas and also free math and videos. You can here find some videos and some examples, math lessons to motivate the students to hook them before the lessons, starting for uh, your lesson. Also, you can give some teaching channel. Here you can find some good videos and real world connection. There are great videos here to, to use your uh, mathematics lessons. Here are they. 
do you see? Probably you use them in your lessons, but actually I advise you prepare your own mathematics and real world examples because using the prepared one, uh, it's more strict, you know, uh, using them, uh, for example, your own mathematics and real world connection uh, will give chance you to differentiate your lessons. Uh, if you use them, you can use. Yes. If you'd like to ask some questions, you can ask me now. Mehmet, uh, since the websites were not really working in the beginning, if you could add the links that you are using on the chat, maybe this could help people to enter the websites on their own. Yeah, I will add now to the chat. Thank you. Here on the meantime, okay. if there's anyone who has a specific question on any on the websites uh, mentioned, they all seem very interesting. So if anyone has used them or has any comments on them. Yeah. Here are the websites. I copied them on the chat box. Thank you. And maybe we can give a couple of minutes to everyone. So if they want to check any website, they can. And if they have any question, they can use this space to um, to to make a, the question. Yeah. If if you would like to mention about, for example, maybe you use your lessons, the mathematics and real world connections. What are the disadvantages uh, in your lessons? I really wonder uh, such things because uh, I am working on them now. Uh, I am searching them. Uh, I am searching the disadvantages of using mathematics in, and in real life connections. There are many research studies, but uh, it differs from country to country. Uh, I know all the things for my country, but actually I wonder other countries. If you would like to mention about them, I would like to uh, hear your voice. Okay, so please, if every, anyone has something to share about their experiences as teachers in their country, please feel free to write it on the chat. Anything negative, as Mehmet said, or even any positive experience as well, that would be good to know. Yeah. I okay. use uh, for the software uh, from the Elizabeth. I use this uh, for the software. The okay, there is one question in the chat. Uh, Liliana Mitik, she's asking, uh, she works with young learners, seven to nine years old, and she's asking if there's any examples or suggestions for, for people yeah. this age, for students this age. Uh -huh. the, the Pumas website is more suitable for the ages uh, from seven to nine years. Also, you can use this website. Uh, it's more suitable uh, for students met in real life. Probably you see here the website here, TED at Lessons Worth Sharing. You can use this uh, website for your lessons. There is another comment uh, from Fatih. Uh, he's asking, he's saying that the main problem using this method is having a lot of topics, more topics, and less time. Um, would yeah. you like to comment it? Yeah, I would like to say uh, the research study says uh, if you would like to use your math and real world connection, please start with small things. You know, uh, for example, giving them to hook before the lesson. For example, where do we use the parabolas? Where do we use the limits? Where do we use the differentiation? Uh, just asking such questions. Maybe more appropriate uh, for the for the first time. Uh, after that, you can differentiate your lessons according to uh, your topic. You know, uh, I'd like to uh, here emphasize that uh, using all the all using mathematics and real world connection is not appropriate for all mathematics topics. Uh, I know uh, using mathematics and real world connection is more difficult to use uh, such, uh, for example, uh, the topics. Uh, the, for example. Uh, uh, relations uh, and uh, you know sets it's more difficult to use and real world connections uh, that's why the reason I'd like to uh, say uh, please use some small things so starting with uh, giving some uh, questions How, where do we use such things in our real life 
Do you, uh, did, have you ever seen before that? Uh, uh, just to hook them before the lesson. Uh, after that, you can continue other, other days. You can use some uh, difficult ones. Okay, so thank you very much for responding to the questions. I don't see any other question in the chat at the moment. Oh, wait, there is one. There's one. Um, yes, is, uh, teachers, okay. there's a comment saying that teachers are afraid of changing traditional methods. Exactly. For uh, Fatih, Jamil is probably from my country, Turkey. Uh, in my country, uh, teachers are afraid of changing traditional methods. Yes, uh, you are right. Uh, because of, you know, examination system in our country, uh, the students must solve different types of problems. Also, the teachers should solve different types of problems. Uh, also, the teachers must solve the mathematics, uh, mathematics problems quickly, you know, because the students uh, have just one minute for, uh, for each question. That's why the reason teachers uh, have afraid uh, to change the traditional methods, uh, and also probably they don't know how they can use the technology in their lessons because uh, using mathematics and real world connections requires some some techno technological uh, content and uh, knowledge. And that's why the reason in my country some teachers are afraid of changing the traditional methods. You are right, uh, Fatih. You're welcome. If you compare the students' achievements using this method versus traditional one, yes, there are many research studies, uh, but actually I made uh, one of them. Uh, in IBDP classes, uh, if we use some mathematics and real connection, students get more high scores in their uh, in their exams because students uh, must know how to use their TI calculators in IBDP classes. That's why the reason we should give them more examples, some investigations in mathematics. They also come up with new ideas to solve the mathematics uh, problems and to solve some different kinds of, you know, mathematical ideas. Uh, I uh, actually investigated uh, in my uh, MAB classes, uh, MAB classes uh, for Turkey, if we use real-world connections, uh, the students get uh, lower scores because they must solve the mathematics problems quickly. Uh, if we use the mathematics in real life, they, they don't have a chance to solve the mathematics uh, quickly. Uh, uh, there are vice versa, uh, you guess, uh, IBDP and uh, in my traditional uh, MAB classes uh, is very different. Uh, that's why the reason uh, IB, uh, I gave some examples uh, from the IBDP classes. Okay, thanks again. Is there any other question? Please share it in the chat. Okay. It doesn't seem there's any more questions. Okay. So I'm I'm going to intervene now because I'm I'm getting some messages on the on the private chat. Mm -hmm. So please share your messages on on uh, yeah, on the send line. You have to put send to everyone. I'm going to share the questions that the the last colleagues were were asking. So there was another uh, question from. Uh, Lindy Taloya, and she was asking for mm -hmm. um, playing games uh, regarding math for 13-year-old kids. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's also another comment from Katarina Ivanovic. Uh, she, she's saying that there's also a lack of teaching materials. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Problem, uh, uh, lack of materials, uh, we can use, you know, if we, if we don't have to use some materials uh, to show students uh, how can we connect and real life and mathematics, 
Um, please try to just show them just one video from the YouTube or other platforms. Uh, uh, that will also give chance to students students to think critically. You know, uh, I don't want to advise you. Please prepare your lessons, all lessons uh, according according to the real world and mathematics. Uh, that's difficult, but uh, just using some small parts uh, in your lessons using real world and mathematics will give students to think. Uh, different, in a different way, you know, uh, if we give them just theoretical knowledge, uh, they will just think, uh, try to think the abstract, abstractly, you know, uh, we must uh, yeah, consider uh, how can we differentiate our lessons. Uh, that's why the reason the, uh, uh, in the last two decades, uh, this is the research topic and the researcher uh, studies about it, how can we uh, come up with new ideas to teach mathematics, you know, they want uh, students uh, to think them critically, analytically, you know, many skills, uh, because the mathematics, the, the nature of the mathematics is uh, too, uh, you know, strict and too uh, complex. Uh, if we try to make it easier for students, it will give chance uh, to think more uh, actively and critically. There is another question from Svieta. She's asking, what software do you use for modeling? Uh, thank you, Linda. Uh, I use for software, Marina, uh, uh, GeoGebra and Phantom. Uh, for, uh, for example, for my IBDP students, they use PI calculators because uh, they, it is handled and they can use more comfortably uh, to use their mathematics lessons. And also, they use the TI calculators for their exams. One exam with using TI calculator, one exam without using TI calculator. That's why the reason uh, I want to I want to give them chance to use TI calculator. Uh, but for my lessons, I use GeoGebra because it gives me more chance to use sliders and other things to to make the equations more suitable for my mathematics topics. Okay, thank you. Any other question? Please share it on the general chat so we can all see them. Okay, we're gonna leave it open for about one more minute if anyone has another question, and if not, we we're gonna we're gonna close it. So, if you have anything to add, please uh, share it on the chat right now. I think. No more questions. Yes, I think there's uh, no more questions. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're going to close it now. Many thanks uh, to Mehmet for presenting in this webinar and to everybody for participating and sharing your ideas. Um, the next se session, the next webinar, it's going to be on the 24th of February. And the topic will be free libre software and inclusion in schools. So free, feel free to join through the usual channels. For this one, you will receive an email with all the relevant information in the following days. And again, thank you everyone for participating.